Hello AWS friends. In this very short video, let's see how to create a complete Elastic Beanstalk environment with the command line. So we're going to have a look on some easy commands and create and set up an Elastic Beanstalk application in one minute. So let's get ready. You find all the required commands in my GitHub account under AWS Advanced Elastic Beanstalk. And also you're going to need the Elastic Beanstalk command line. Please have a look in the AWS documentation how to install for your operating system. I'm going to use uh, Windows PowerShell to execute the commands and now let's get started. Let's verify our Elastic Beanstalk environment so far is empty. It is, we don't have any applications and environments. And now we're going to execute our first command, this is eb init, and let's have a look what options we have. We have to select the default region. I'm going to select US West 2 Oregon. Let's type hello world as name, and we're going to select PHP for this simple example, number 8. And we don't need SSH for this tutorial, so let's say no. And now our application and our environment was created. We have this new config YAML here in the subfolder Elastic Beanstalk. And we have a name, default platform, the region I have selected and workspace type. What we will need, we're going to need a index html file if we don't have it yet we can create it now we have our index html and now let's deploy our application first we're going to need our environment and we're going to create this with the command eb create environment name so command was executed and we can have a look in our AWS account and refresh this page. So what's happening command line is creating a zip file which is going to be uploaded for the application creating the environment and the application. So our environment is in state pending our application also in creation. Let's wait a couple of seconds and I'll be back when this is done. So the command is completed. Let's have a look in our environments and we see our application was deployed. It's healthy. So we can also have a look and it's running. So um, behind this whole application we have a lot of stuff running. Of course we have an EC2 instance this is our instance for this environment. We have some more stuff we cannot explain all by now. We have security groups. We have a launch configuration for the auto scaling. This is the created launch configuration. We have an auto scaling group and some more resources which I cannot explain by now. So we have only use this command create environment to deploy the application. We have also the deploy command. We can use the deploy command uh, once there is a change in our application. For example, I'm going to change the index file and now I can use eb deploy to update my application. So there is a new archive being created and it's uploaded to our environment and we can see here the update is in progress and once it is completed we can have a look on one more command. We can also use ebopen straight ahead in the command line.
to open a browser which um, also shows our deployed application. What else do we have? We have, for example, EB status. We can check our application and we can also check the health of the application on the command line. So this is also a nice feature. And finally, once the application is running, we can terminate the environment and application as easy as we created it, simply by create, calling the command terminate. And now we can see termination is in progress. You have all these events here. For example, also in your web UI on the web console, this should be actually the same as the output here on the command line. And now the environment and the application is going to be terminated. And that's it for the short video. Have fun and see you on the next video. Thanks for listening. Bye.